hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i have a super delicious dinner recipe for you guys if you want to see how i created this entire meal follow me as i show you step by step okay guys so we'll begin by making some garlic mashed potatoes first here i have my potatoes some heavy whipping cream i have sour cream some butter garlic i have garlic pepper garlic salt and some complete seasoning so obviously we have to boil our potatoes first so here i have a pot with some water i add my potatoes garlic and we'll boil them until they are tender. So once the potatoes are soft, we'll go ahead and add some butter to that and we'll mash both the potatoes and garlic. We'll mash them until they are completely smooth. Next, we'll add the rest of our butter. We'll add the heavy whipping cream, the sour cream and our seasoning. We'll mix until well combined and that is it guys. That's how super simple and easy it is to make this mashed potatoes and it's absolutely delicious. You guys will love it. Next, we'll be fixing some stir-fried slash steamed vegetables. I have some carrots, asparagus, and baby broccoli. I'll also be using some onions, garlic, butter. I have black pepper, chicken bouillon, and all-purpose seasoning. Here in my preheated pot, I'll add the butter and allow it to melt. Next, I'll add my onions and my garlic and I'll allow them to go for about two minutes. Next, we'll add our veggies, then we'll add our seasonings to flavor them up, and we'll let it go for about five minutes. After about 5 minutes, we'll set the lid on and allow this to steam for another 5 minutes. And this is it guys. This is the end result of our stir fried slash steamed vegetables. Now we'll move on to the next step. Next up is a delicious lemon pepper shrimp. Here I have my fresh shrimp that I went ahead and washed. In lemon juice i also will be using some lemon juice in this recipe i have melted butter i have garlic salt parsley cornstarch lemon pepper i have old bay seasoning and some more lemon pepper next we'll season our shrimp with just two ingredients we'll use some lemon pepper seasoning and some old bay seasoning i try to make the entire meal super simple and easy if you want, you can make this for your dad for Father's Day. By the way, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the devoted and loving fathers out there. You know, I want to say Happy Father's Day uh, in advance. So, yeah, you can make this for your dad or just make it as a regular dinner. It is super simple and easy. All of the recipes are easy. Next, we'll make the lemon pepper sauce. We'll add the lemon juice to the melted butter. We'll add the garlic salt, the lemon pepper seasoning. We'll add our parsley. 
we'll add the cornstarch that will thicken up the sauce a bit and we will mix until it's well combined we'll set it aside until our shrimp is ready Here in my preheated pot, I will now add my shrimp and I'll cook them for about 3 minutes on each side. Now once the shrimp is cooked on both sides, we will now add our sauce and we'll let the sauce come up to a little simmer. Once the sauce comes up to a simmer, that's it guys, that's the end of the recipe. Now we will remove this from the heat and move on to the next step. Next up, we have our lamb chops here. We'll be doing a delicious lamb chops in honey red wine sauce. And we'll be seasoning with some complete seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, smoked paprika, some garlic pepper, and green seasoning. So first things first, we'll add all of our seasonings into one bowl and we'll mix until well combined. Then we'll generously massage the seasonings into our lamb chops on both sides then we'll let it marinate for about 20 minutes In the same skillet, I'll add some butter and allow it to melt. Now I'll add the garlic and we'll just let this go for a few seconds. I don't even need to cut this video off at this point because the garlic is grated and it's very fine. So we don't need to let this go too long. And then we will add our red wine to deglaze our pan. Then we'll add our honey. We'll add our seasonings to add flavor and taste and we'll let them all go for a few minutes just allowing you know it to come up to a simmer and then we, what we want here is for the liquid to reduce. We'll let this liquid here reduce and it will thicken up and then we will add our lamb chops back in.
So once the liquid has reduced and the sauce has thickened, we will now add our lamb chops back in here. We will make sure they're evenly coated and well coated with the sauce and we'll let them go for about five minutes just to absorb everything. And then we'll be ready to serve. It is absolutely delicious, guys. I hope you give the recipe a try. Okay guys, so this is how I make a super delicious lamb chops dinner. It is just something different, you know, like when you're looking for something that you don't usually eat all the time, this is just the perfect recipe. I do hope you guys give it a try and if you enjoy my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!